so you want to find some bugs. There's a whole hidden world all around us all the time and it's yours to explore if you look carefully. Before we go searching for bugs today, we're gonna to make a tool that's gonna to help us to look more closely, more carefully, a bug net. What you'll need is a mesh produce bag, a sturdy stick dowel, maybe a large kitchen spoon, about two feet of wire, and an embroidery hoop. If you don't have this, don't worry, we'll think about other options in a second. So let's make our net. First, loosen the screw on the embroidery hoop and remove the center ring. Wrap the mesh produce bag around the center ring. Then slide it back in the outer ring and refasten the screw. Wrap wire around the end of your wooden dowel stick or spoon, then use the wire to attach this to the embroidery hoop to make a handle. Now, if you don't have an embroidery hoop, that's okay. Um, look around your house and see if you can find anything else that you can make a sturdy circle out of. Maybe a wire hanger, cardboard box that you can cut up into strips and hot glue together. Once you have your sturdy circle, you might need to try out some different ways of attaching the mesh fabric, maybe with string, hot glue, but there are things all around you that you can use. Get creative. So now we're ready to find some bugs, but where are we gonna go? Can you think of any place near you where a bug might live? Where a bug might find shelter, food, water? My favorite place to look for bugs is at the Native Plant Garden at the Santa Cruz Museum of Natural History. And once you've found your place where you wanna find bugs, go there and take a seat, close your eyes. Listen, do you hear any bugs? Open your eyes and look at the ground around you. Give yourself a minute. Do you notice anything moving? I find that the best way to really notice all that there is around you is to sit and to listen and to look without agenda. I bet you'll notice something surprising. You're probably ready to look a little bit more closely at those bugs now, which is where our net comes into play. When using your net, I recommend the following tips. Hold your net under a bush and shake the bush. Little bits of the plant will fall, but bugs might too. Brush your net through tall grasses in a sweeping motion, and after a few large sweeps, take a look. Or you can try to catch a bug mid-flight. This is expert level bug catching but you can do it. Once you've found a bug that you want to explore, you can gently hold it in your net and look more closely. What do you notice? Have you seen this bug before? What color is it? Does it have wings? Once you're done closely observing it, gently release it back into its habitat or its home. We're only collecting these bugs so that we can get to know them better, so that we can better understand our natural world and it's important that we let these bugs continue to be a part of that natural world. So thanks for joining me and happy hunting from the Santa Cruz Museum of Natural History.